Well, today is the 27th of April 2023 and we're back at the airport. Weeks flown by and it's time for Angela to return. Um, we parked on the sixth floor and uh, well, still lots of work going on. The escalator's not working and so uh, we've got to go down in the lift and there's only one lift out of four that's functioning. So, very good. Well, we managed to get in the lift okay. And uh, we're parked on the sixth floor, never been that high before, I don't think. And um, we've been down to the fourth floor because on the fourth floor you can walk directly into the airport. And uh, hopefully there's a moving belt which will help us to get in there. Just have to check that, make sure we were coming in the wrong way, right way. So just coming out. See the escalators are working here, they're just not going all the way up to the top. Um, we go through here and uh, we can walk directly into the terminal. Everything, everything at Palmer Airport is a long walk, so give yourself plenty of time. Make sure you can uh, have the time to walk. It's a fast distance, you can see. We've got to walk all the way to the end of here. And then, uh, because we've got a case to check in, we'll have to go down a floor. There's a board here which you can check for information about your flights. And, uh, well, fortunately, the moving walkway is walking, moving, so we will speed along here in no time. See you at the other end. Well, we're nearly there now. Or at least, at least uh, nearly end of the moving belt. There's the girls coming up behind. And uh, well, we're more or less in the terminal now. If you don't have any bags uh, to check in and you've already got your boarding passes, then you can go straight to security. Uh, Angela has a bag to check in and uh, she also has assistance uh, to help her through the airport as well. So uh, we go to the, the check-in. Giving ourselves plenty of time, she's got uh, about two or three hours, three hours maybe, uh, which is what they recommend. You do get to the airport early. I can't believe there's still work going on here. Let's just say there's still work going on here. Season is now well underway. So, we go for the lift and we'll go down to the check-in area. Here it comes. And in we go. And now we can go down to the second floor, which is the check-in area. It's all red. So we now need just to check on the board to find out which check-in desk we need to go to. And, uh, Angela's flying with Tui, and, uh, which is part of the Thompson Group. It's 28 to 20. 1939. Yeah. 28 to 39. That's down this way. See lots of people here already. It's a Saturday. Lots of cyclists coming in and going out.
There's the EasyJet check-in, looking pretty empty at the moment. We've been booking flights for the summer and uh, EasyJet is on our list of companies we're flying with. <laughs> and for the first time I'm going to be flying into Exeter. Never done that before, so uh, a small airport, but hopefully that's uh, going to be convenient for Serena. And uh, EasyJet are now flying there, so it uh, opens up a new option for us. So, this is Tui area and uh, Go and ask the lady where we need to go. Lots of lots of people here. Big queues. Hopefully we'll be able to go and take a shortcut. So we have a, a little shortcut. So big queues. Well, that's the thin air actually down there. Actually the the Tui desks are relatively free on both sides so it wouldn't have been too bad we're not flying with thin air we're flying with Tui so all seems to have been quite efficient here so far and uh, Angela's just checking in um, just reading a sign here that might be of interest um, attention to passengers travelling to the UK uh, that due to congestion at the passport control uh, after check-in then please go directly to Terminal A where you'll find the restaurants and shops that are available. Uh, it has been reported in the press over the last few days that there is uh, some congestion so uh, well, I've just got plenty of time so she shouldn't be having a problem. Well, this is the seating area for the special assistance and uh, your chariot awaits. And there Angela goes and uh, she's been wheeled off makes it a lot easier for her, she doesn't walk well and uh, they will look after as she goes through the airport. Well, Angela's on her way now and uh, we go back to the car but it is, is noticeably every time we come to the airport now uh, we're seeing more and more people. Uh, it's just getting busier and busier. So we're going to go up and uh, back to the car. As we make our way back uh, to the car, you can see this, just the steady flow of people who are making their way through to the security. And uh, oh, it's only going to get busier and busier. Well, thanks very much for watching, and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. And uh, I'll be back at the airport very soon. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye for now. Uh, just as a little postscript, um, they are actually looking as though they're nearly there painting now. I guess that's the last stage. And uh, this escalator up to the fifth floor is working. But I think the one up to the sixth floor, which is the one where we've got to go, isn't working. So again, bye for now and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.